I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Sure, thanks. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Come here, bot. Here's Is that still working on the robot's navigation yeah, system? Just yeah, I noticed. <laughs> we'll wow, what a beautiful day. with your Volvas box entree. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They me lie there all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Whoa! He did it! Oh, thanks a million! Enjoy the celebration! Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Order to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. Icarus platform residents and facility guests. Hey, that bot's actually pretty good. Nice coordination. Did you just praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. The pace of technological progress. Get your thought device. Good day, comrade. Come closer. No thanks, I'm just browsing. No thanks. I'm all set. Stay abreast of the facility's cutting-edge advancements in... Buy a copy of the Facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride?
Well, I... A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, a newspaper... Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No, nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. No, thanks. I'm all set. I need to do the laundry. I should check the weather. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here. No thanks. I'm all set. Can we get the atom in the picture too? Attention. Please come back. Listen up. Tickets are now available for a new performance at the Spanish Hi, do you have Prince Albert in a can? Yeah, and we ain't letting him out. Oh, then is your refrigerator running? Yeah, and it's coming to get you, kid. Ah, oh, crap. Please, Please, enough with the prank calls, Comrade Major. about the history of facility 3826, hear about its great discoveries, and pay your respects to... Everyone here seems so happy and content, just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit, and I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. You fought in the war, Comrade Major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy critters, man. Comrade! Fuck. The day Watch your language, Major. I've got a question. Yes, Comrade, how may I help? So do you believe in aliens? If I had a ruble for every time I've been asked that question, I'd be a capitalist. But I hope that very soon... No thanks, I'm good. Major Nachayev reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. 
Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world. Report to the lobby of that high rise, Comrade Major. They're waiting for you. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and the So glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. It has now become possible the car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. He's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, natürlich. At last, a network of humans and robots. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone and Finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled... I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just... so nice. Our elevator has arrived. I present to you the device of the future. The neural connector... thought. It will allow... human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0. A network for all mankind... together. Uniting the intellects of all individuals into a powerful mind, free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. You... We'll no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. 
Wanna learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once... Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, parades I just came from in one every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics, workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl. Mein Fjord. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in.
Don't you think that may have been a bit... Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about... This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemé Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedyansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. 
Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Vitrova's initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! Now what am I supposed to do about it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory of the Robert Run facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Oh, help me, Comrade Major! I'm falling! What the shit? Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! Attention. This is an emergency It's killing me. Ugh. Do not interact with the robot. Do not panic. A tiny in the vehicle is in the place in the vehicle resident. Staff house at the Hotel. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the Hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session of out. Robots, and the 
Details on the target. Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Get out of here! Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive? Get away from me! Go fuck yourself! Get the fuck off me! What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way, too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! Uh, no good! Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot! Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Shit. Come to Granny. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me! You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit! What a goddamn clusterfuck. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. 
He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how do you end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Vavilov complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in... Hey, who's there? <sighs> they found me. Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady, this is Sergeant Major oh, Ekaterina. I'm human. Just turn the handle and open the door! What the shit? Hang on, buddy! Hang on! Hang on! Machines rose from the ashes. May I give you some advice? Well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots can. A neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and... You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through! Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, sonny. Uh, but we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade. Uh, Granny Zena? How is our authorization? Really? I was always allowed in here before. Have a seat, Mihail. I just need to finish my work and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Kolsov some tea. I'll be with you in a second, okay? Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at Facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission. Objective. Got it. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here.
So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. <clears throat> As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. May God have mercy on our souls. We've locked the magnetic door to the cable car tunnel. I don't know how long we can keep the robots inside the complex. Hey, Ivan, is it me? Or... Attention. My dearest B. It's too dangerous to keep leaving messages like this. This is the last one. Get ready. I'm getting my paperwork together, and then I'll be right behind you. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need... Something's wrong. Oh, shit! Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps, 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 forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. You don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! No! Holy shit! Avoid the beam! Ah. Ooh. Terminated. Charles, where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, it worked. <laughs> Oh, 
A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. What the fuck? Fuck me! Oh, what a stun! I can't get enough of jumps. Let me tie you to the bed, baby. No need to fight back, sugar. Oh, you're gonna love this. Don't let her bind your arms! Can't you see I'm trying? Open to suggestions! Bring me to her sensor manipulator, quick! How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys! I'm on fire! Closer! I can't reach her! No, I'm trying, I'm trying! She's one strong-ass bitch! I'm at your service, sugar! Anything for my master? What can I do for you? More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the but pump. I can do so much more! A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use yeah. this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you... Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do, jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. What's with the Vovas with black bodies, Nikolai? Regular VOV A6s follow my orders and are always polite. But the black ones walk around like they own the place. They go wherever they want, just ignore orders. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even apologize. They but take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. Only respond to people with high social ratings or something. Get back to me when you can. I'm a little freaked out of you. Thank <laughs> you. 
found the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are? Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. Mm, that son of a bitch. Monday begins on Saturday, but I'd like you to really take the weekend off. As you know, national polymerization is happening throughout the Soviet Union on Monday the 13th, and our executive leaders want us to put together a team of volunteers for the upcoming celebrations. Anybody who works on the 11th or the 12th will get a reprimand, not a bonus. Have a great weekend. How much time and effort is it gonna take to fix this damn place? I agree. It's a troubling sight. Regardless, robots will be able to repair the damage quite quickly. I seriously doubt the folks here are gonna want anything to do with robots after this. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need... Color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Hey, Chaz. Charles. <laughs> yeah. So, how'd Petrov get away? There are more soldiers here than civilians. Some people believe that Petrov had help. So he's not alone. But you said all his partners were eliminated, right? Who else is there? That information is not yet available. We only have speculation, not facts. Well, I'll cross that bridge when I get there.
You recall, the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. Please select the desired procedure. Resistance and safety. Probably the key aspects of our machines that could... The Babylon Complex is one of the facility's largest subdivisions. There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. Reboot the control system to reactivate the line. 
How am I supposed to restart the line? There should be a control panel nearby. <laughs> you don't say. There's the control panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ah, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. We're now witnessing a glorious new era. Something's got to move. Anything! We're now witnessing... Uh... What was that? Of Soviet urban development. They won't go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have you frozen just like everything here? They won't go. Nope. Won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neural polymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. Well, shit. Okay, so where's this diagram of yours? Schematic! The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? The station master has it. Such a city will not he didn't be make it. Wasn't as fast as me. He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel. He died. And everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. The brand new capital. Are you sure the station master has it? Does he take it with him everywhere he goes? He carries it with him. The station master, find him! Find him! Get the schematic! Got it. I'll look for it. Maybe I should have said thank you. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. But talking corpses, that's a new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's a byproduct of lingering neuropolymer memory activity. Everyone killed here was polymerized. Oh, shit, they there is. Is Vasily, you hear me? What about here? Charles, so this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes out... I hope this works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your ticket. Sorry. No ticket.